what's up you guys welcome back to my channel oh going way too fast please don't die if you are new here welcome I'm so happy you're here if you have been with me for a while thank you so much for following me on this journey we are about to hit a hundred subscribers which to a lot of people is nothing but to me it means the absolute world that you care and that you want to be a part of this really fun crazy DIY home decor journey so thank you from the bottom of my heart for being a part of this journey today we are on our way to the Sunshine State we are traveling five 550 miles south to Melbourne, Florida, where my parents currently live. We are going to be tackling their master bedroom. Super pumped. I'm thinking coastal, beachy vibes, really polished, really clean, with a lot of just neutral textures and a little pop of some natural blues. I'm so excited. We are road tripping. We've got six hours and 21 minutes left, so I will see you guys whenever we get there. things that I wanted to do is just kind of walk you guys through what my parents master bedroom currently looks like and what the design plans are as far as the makeover goes what the layout is where we're planning on moving things and shifting things in the room right whenever you walk into my parents master bedroom you walk into this cozy kind of nook area right next to the window it gets a lot of light in that area so it's a really great spot to kind of create a little reading nook is what I'm thinking they currently have this taller dresser which I'm not a huge fan of walking right into furniture if you can avoid it obviously some layouts are a little weird sometimes but I feel like if this was just kind of a little reading nook with a chair and I'm thinking maybe a rounded table with some books a candle and a really pretty just maybe olive tree I'm thinking as far as the draperies go we are going to plan on reusing them we are going to plan on trying to reuse as much as we can in this renovation just so then that way it's not going to be a super costly room makeover. I'm thinking we're going to keep the draperies and just switch the rod out to something that's a little more modernized. Something I'm thinking in a satin black and just a smooth finish and I would like for the finials to be somewhat simple and not super you know ornate or anything like that. So moving on to their area where the headboard and the bed is facing. I would love to again we're going to use all of the current furniture that they have just so then that way we can save a little bit of money but I do think that this is really pretty furniture. I love the reading on the sides of the furniture that's actually coming in again So it's kind of one of those things where everything comes back around I've always heard that that like interior design is very cyclical What I love about this furniture is I love the granite tops on the nightstands I think that's really pretty and it's very rare to be able to find nightstands that have a really sturdy stone top So I'm really excited about that I think if we just lighten up the furniture just brighten it up with a really nice taupey lighter shade I think that that is really going to just modernize it up. I think it's nice to incorporate a little bit of color because I do want to just tie in that kind of coastal Mediterranean vibe mixed with a little bit of just some rustic elements here and there. So I love the softness of the headboard. I think the color is really pretty. I love that it is a suede. It's kind of like an ultra suede material. So I think just updating the bedding, trying to get some new pillows in there. I'm thinking three Euro shams and then just one decorative long lumbar to go in the the middle that about sums it up as far as the plans for the bedroom mixing in some of the old with the new and just kind of freshening it up a bit just to give it a brighter and more airy feel to it <laughs> we are on day one of the renovation we went ahead and we moved out the nightstands and the dresser. Today, we are going to work on sanding the furniture. We are going to start painting and hopefully we will get to start working on the walls today as well. So let's get to it. So one of the first things we're gonna do is remove all of the hardware from the drawers and then I'm just going in with an angled sand block to get all of the curved edges because this furniture is so rounded and you don't want to use an electric sander on any surfaces that aren't flat. Just a little mini introduction. This is basically my dad, Chad. He came into my life when I was three and honestly, he's the reason why I grew a love for DIY and projects in general. We ended up painting the furniture with a sprayer and then I used the Rust-Oleum spray paint and a flat finish for the hardware. I also sprayed a clear matte protective finish on them as well just for some extra protection. 
day two of the renovation, I just pulled into the Home Depot parking lot because we need to pick up more paint for the sprayer. This is my first time actually using a sprayer. It's like my first experience. I've never used one before, but I'm really, really pumped with how the results are turning out. Just really smooth and clean. The prep time is definitely a lot more than whenever you hand paint furniture, but the results are just so, I don't know, just smooth and flawless. So I'm really excited about that. One thing that I have learned about using a sprayer though is that it uses a lot more paint. As far as using a sprayer on furniture, that's kind of a little bit harder to calculate that square footage. So if anyone knows of a good way to like estimate that, that would be a really useful tip to have during the process of using a sprayer. So let's just pop into Home Depot and get all of our goodies and get back so we can make some progress. painting I removed all of the light switch and outlet plates and then this is the first time I've used this painters tape with the plastic attached I would definitely recommend it and we'll link it down below because I felt like it just took off some of the pressure to not have to worry too much about being messy while painting we ended up going with Sherwin Williams incredible white on the walls and a new gray on the furniture I will link it down below if you have a Sherwin Williams paint deck Home Depot can actually match and mix any of the paint you might need is day three of the renovation. We have no rain today. It is all sunshine. And yesterday my parents went and they picked up the fan. Today I can get in my first coat of paint, my second coat of paint. And Chad actually helped me patch. They used to have this like old fire alarm thing above their light switch that they didn't use anymore. So he went ahead and he patched that. Chad is going to be outside painting all of the furniture for the second coat. And I am going to be in here painting and finishing the room. have been touched up. The fan is finally installed. We got that installed last night. I'm super pumped about it. I feel like it really just helps to bring the entire space together and just modernize it. Never installed a fan before, so definitely a learning experience for me. Chad has had his fair share of fan installing, so that definitely helped me a lot. You learn something new every day. quite literally in the home stretch. We moved all of the furniture back in yesterday, the headboard, the bed, and today I'm going to be trying to hang these mirrors by myself. So ooh, wish me luck. I'm also going to try and hang this painting right here and the frames that go along this accent wall where the chair and the table are gonna be. So after we get all of those things hung successfully, it's just fingers crossed, I can do this, I can do this. After we get all the things hung successfully, then we will get to put in the decor and the final touches. So next on the list is to get these prints hung. I got them off of Etsy. This is a great way, like if you do have some frames or you've thrifted some frames, this is the perfect way to be able to add some art to your room in an affordable way without having to spend a bunch of money. Surprise, surprise, because the mirrors are so heavy, I did end up needing my mom's help to install them. I'll see if they're even. Let's hope. using my mom's coverlet that she already had because it's white with a linen border and it went perfectly with the rest of the color scheme. 
I'm going in folding the coverlet back twice, overlapping to expose the sheets. I feel like this just helps to layer the look and just give it like a crisp, clean hotel feeling. Then to layer in front of the king pillows, I'm adding these waffle knit euro shams from Target, which I will link down below. My mom fell in love with this taupe herringbone quilt from Target. I have the exact same one at my house and I absolutely love the color, texture, and feel of it. So we picked one up for their room as well to layer at the foot of the bed. So I have all of the goodies on the bed ready for styling. Most of the things that I ended up picking up are from Home Goods, Marshalls, or the good old Target. So I will just link everything down below that I can. Obviously, Home Goods is hit or miss. Um, I will see if I can find the links for some of the things. And then I did go by Barnes and Noble and pick up these books. So I will just link everything down below. I wanted to invest and gift these books to my mom because I knew she would appreciate them. The first one is A Summer Place by Trisha Foley. It's filled with inspiring spaces that are located by the ocean. The second book is Travel Home by Caitlin Fleming and Julie Goval, filled with spaces that incorporate the elements of global design. On these books, I am layering this artisan vase to incorporate a more Mediterranean Tuscan feel and then this candle with the decorative wicker to add a little coastal texture. Next, I'm draping this throw blanket from Home Goods over the chair for some added layers and then popping in this chunky textured pillow also from Home Goods to finish the area off. The nice hands we chose these black textured lamps from Target, which I will link below, and then this wicker accented vase for some fresh eucalyptus. To keep it practical, I added this lidded ceramic box to hide nightstand clutter because we all have it. I know I do. This is a great way to just keep it all organized. These two candle covers with the shell texture have been around since I was in elementary school and I decided to use them for the styling because I've always loved the warmth that they've added to the space. Next to create height and balance, I'm adding these two vases from Target and then in front of them this sculptural driftwood candle holder to tie in more coastal elements. Okay you guys, it is final reveal time. Let's do this. You guys, I am over the moon with how this room turned out. Hanging the draperies on rings and installing them higher and wider just really elevated the look and the painted furniture just really brightened and freshened up the space. And I love the contrast of the black hardware against the lighter toned paint. As the bedding and the headboard, I am so happy with how the color scheme pulled together using the existing headboard with pops of muted blues and dark contrasting blacks and browns. She likes it. She's smiling. I like the tray. I love the tray. It's really nice, yeah. Maddie. You did an amazing job. I'm just wow. I'm so happy you like it. It's just completely different. I didn't realize how sad my master bedroom was. It wasn't. Was. It was. <laughs> it was sad. The furniture was sad. Everything was sad about this. This is really nice. Yay. I mean, there's so many things about it that I love that I can't even begin. Yay! That makes me so happy. All right, you guys. So that is a wrap on my parents' master bedroom makeover. I really hope that you like everything and that you enjoyed watching. I am super obsessed with how everything came out. It makes me really, really happy to just know that now my parents have a space that they can come into whenever they've had a long day and they can just come in and relax, kick back. It just feels so peaceful and serene, which is exactly what I was going for for their master bedroom. So I'm really excited with how it turned out. As far as my parents' master bathroom,
bedroom goes. We actually talked over the plans for the renovation. They decided that they wanted to hold off because they want to do a little bit more of an extensive renovation than we were planning on. So they would like to do that sometime middle of this year. So we will be coming back to tackle that project. But overall, I am so excited with how this master bedroom turned out. I genuinely hope that you guys enjoyed watching this extreme master bedroom makeover. It was a ton of fun to do. I'm so excited and stoked with how it turned out. If you enjoyed watching this video, it would mean the absolute world to me if you would give it a big thumbs up and subscribe for more in the future. And until next time, you guys.